Hello, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of February the 2nd up until February the 9th. All right, Libras, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Libras. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Libras. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my Libras are here seeking to find this week. What we have for Libras this week, always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember, this can be for your sun, moon, rising or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And since this is a general reading, always make sure to, you can reverse the energies basically. So you can reverse the energies if you feel the need to do so. Okay, Libras, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, wow, so the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So you are ready to stop any resistance and take some kind of action, whether this is you or the person that you've been dealing with. You've already waited enough, okay? There's this kind of energy where someone here was kind of feeling like, um, you know, it's kind of like a dysregulator. It's kind of like the drug type of deal. Like, a, you know, like alcohol is, is known as being a dysregulator. So it's kind of like when you have it, you know, or a person who's addicted to that is happy. And then when they don't have it, they feel like they need it. You know, they feel, they feel antsy. They don't feel at ease. So it's kind of like somebody here who was waiting was feeling already antsy. You know, it's kind of like somebody was clinging on to something for way too long, whether it's resistance into, you know, maybe you haven't divulged how you feel, or maybe this person had not, but somebody here is ready to take action because they know that something has been, it's like it's outgrown, right? It has been outgrown by this time and this resistance has to change, okay? So there is a sacrifice that somebody has to make this week because it no longer serves you. And I feel that now you are volunteering. It's like, okay, fine, fine, fine. I know what I have to do, so I'm gonna finally do it, okay? So whether this is you or your person, take it as it resonates. Let's see what's going on here. Wow, okay, so some of you guys might be dealing with, let's see, I see earth signs, any of the fire signs, any of the air signs. I also see, wow, the artist is coming out in the reading. Also Libra is, wow, what else do we have here? Wow, look at this beautiful energy with the world card. Okay, more fire signs. I also see Gemini. I see water signs as well. What else do we have here? Okay, let's see. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so somebody here with this five of cups in the reverse, somebody feels very regretful, okay? But whoever feels very regretful knows that they have, they have issues, basically. They have control issues. They have obsession issues. They have like issues of being too arrogant, issues of being, you know, too caught up in their own um, depression, you know, it's kind of like this energy where this person sometimes feels like they're out of control, like they're not sure how to make decisions, whether this is you or them. I'm picking up on it's more your person, but some of you guys, it might be you. You might resonate with this. However, there's this energy where somebody here doesn't like being ignored. And so right now they're feeling very regretful, like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because look at this, with this 10 of swords here, somebody was either betrayed, backstabbed, maybe there was kind of like um, a third party situation. It doesn't have to be a third party. It could just be lies. It could be deception, okay? But I do sense here that that's the reason why it's kind of like... um. It's, it's becoming a little bit difficult to start a brand new beginning with your, your person because somebody's still not over it completely. Somebody here has not let go of the past. So whoever this person is perhaps was brought up in kind of like a home environment where maybe a parent had uh, some kind of um, inconsistent, inconsistent, excuse me, inconsistency, God, what a word, inconsistency with their significant other, okay? Maybe they had to fight for love, fight for the this person's attention, you know, from their partner. So it's kind of like become 
the norm for this person to not get attention. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like this person may have experienced something like that. So that's why it's kind of hard for this person to want to have a brand new beginning because they're so caught up with something from the past. Now, I do sense that there was some kind of injustice in the situation and you're seeking justice. Now, I do sense that somebody here is a little bit blocked off emotionally, whether this is you or them, someone is afraid to take that next step right now. So they choose to communicate in subliminal ways. Whoever is afraid to take that next step is communicating without words. You're kind of like communicating just kind of like on a superficial level, okay? Because they're afraid to get hurt since they've already been been hurt before all right now let's go ahead and see what exactly is the seven of pentacles in the reverse what is the seven of pentacles in the reverse again somebody's feeling very regretful someone here is kind of like going with them they know they have to change they realize that they need transformation however they also realize that patience will be needed whether this is you or them again there was some kind of disconnect you guys were once very very happy there was a lot of happiness here but somebody here feels very regretful okay they feel very regretful about the past or so or how something went okay I, it, it seems as though maybe your person was trying to help out the situation and maybe they said something that they didn't mean to okay so they kind of sabotaged it instead of trying to help it's like this person is kind of like um not uh it's like it's something okay so basically um love is new to them love is new to their energy this is kind of like a new energy to them and also they're kind of dealing with the fact that maybe since you kind of like pulled a little bit back libra um, there's this energy where your person doesn't like being ignored, okay? But I feel that it's kind of going to work out in your favor, Libra, because this person, the fact that you're pulling back a little bit is going to make this person take the initiative because they have not been taking the initiative based on um, maybe something that happened in the past. Like I said, maybe they're still kind of having repressed energy, repressed emotions. But I do sense here that, um, you know, it's like before anyone can can love you at Libra or can love them, you know, how they want to be loved, this person first has to respect you, okay? Or maybe, you know, they have to find respect within themselves. Or maybe it's like they first have to find respect within themselves, okay? So this is kind of like this energy where perhaps this person has been communicating with you through subliminal messages, you know, waiting for you to always take the initiative. And I feel like you have been taking the initiative, but I do sense that you want change. You're kind of like trying to change the situation because, you know, you're kind of like monitoring now this situation more carefully than before because you feel like there is an imbalance and you want balance back in your life okay but let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week what do my guides and angels have for my beautiful libras this week have confidence yeah so whoever this resonates for okay have confidence it's asking you moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself libra confidence in god is more than enough along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buy your courage and faith. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy there. Let's go ahead and get one more for my beautiful Libra. One more guidance and angel message. Take back your power. Yeah, so again, if you know that you've been giving way too much to this situation, to this person, and you know that now it's their turn to take initiative, then this is just confirmation. Take back your power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. It's not that it's you're being mean. It's just that, you know, taking back your power is, is, is needed in order for you to regenerate your own energy and also to show love to yourself. All right, my beautiful Libras. This is what I have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, please check the description box below as I now have openings. And follow my new Instagram page at Gina G Official as I will be posting more on there. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.